Hi everyone, this is Lori here from Lori Hooks. Welcome, thanks for hanging out with me today. So I think this is take 657, having a heck of a time getting this video done today. Um, if you can hear her, Sophie's here with me getting a pet. I don't know why, but when um, I'm recording videos, she likes to come over and get it. Whoops, sorry, she ran into the camera. Um, she likes to get a pet, I don't know. I don't know if she thinks I'm talking to her. I'm not really sure. Anyways, so um, this video is going to be a crochet and knit and life catch up video. I'm sorry I don't have a lot of crochet and knit to show you, but life will kind of explain why. So it's been about two weeks since I last recorded. Um, and about so not the past Saturday the Saturday before um, I went river rafting on the Grand River with some of my friends which if you live in southern Ontario or if you're going to visit southern Ontario and I'm sorry she just ran into the camera again um, if you're going to visit this area or if you live in this area I do recommend it it was a lot of fun um, very relaxing we did the river raft that's called the um, beginner course um, so you raft from Paris, Ontario to Brantford. Um, so they basically, you park where you end. They shuttle you back to the beginning. They give you a raft, they give you a paddle, they give you a life jacket and, um, you get on the river and you already been given an idea of where you're going, where the picnic area is, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you get on the raft and you... We basically just floated along and chilled most of the way. Um, it's supposed to be a three to five hour trip. Uh, we got on the river around uh, 9.15 in the morning and got off at 10 to three. Um, so yeah, we were on there pretty much most of the day. So that also meant full day of sun. I got too much sun. I got a bit of a sunburn on my legs, more than a bit of a sunburn on my legs. Got a pretty bad sunburn on my legs. And then um, I was just exhausted by the end of the day. Um, and some of the other, you know, one of the other girls, she was like, she was pretty exhausted too, but I felt like really exhausted. And I was trying not to complain and uh, drove home and had a nap. And on the Sunday morning, I got up and I still was really exhausted and feeling like just yuck. And I thought, you know, really, I'm this out of shape that, you know, I go river rafting and lay, lay around on a raft all day and I'm this exhausted and this tired. I didn't do that much paddling, but I was absolutely exhausted. And then um, really, really, really not feeling well and uh, decided to do a COVID test the next day. And yes, I had COVID. So... Um, as it turns out, I probably am not as out of shape as I thought that I was. I just had COVID. So then, um, so as I said, my symptoms started on the Saturday. Um, I did the, the positive test came on Monday. On Tuesday morning, uh, my husband called into work, let them know that I had COVID. They told him to stay home, which was a good thing because his symptoms started partway through the day on the Tuesday. Um, Sorry, Sophie is about to bark. Sophie, come here. Um, so his symptoms started part of the way through the Tuesday. And uh, so that was our week last week. The two of us had COVID. And, um, you know, usually when people say, you know, I wasn't feeling well, I didn't do a lot of crocheting, I'm usually like, what are you talking about? You didn't feel well. Like, you took time off work. You can crochet all day. I'm telling you, I was so tired. I just, I didn't even want to lift my arms to pick up a hook. I was just exhausted. Um, I spent all day either in bed asleep or just laying on my chair, um, watching TV with a blanket pulled up to my chin. And yeah, that was my week. So um, the both of us are feeling much better now. We're not 100% yet. Um, I'm told that it's going to take us a while to get back to 100%, but at least we're feeling much better. We are no longer contagious. We're no longer having to isolate at home, which is nice. Um, 
getting back out there again. My husband's back at work. Um, I work from home normally, so um, you know I'm back at work as well. I had to do some client visits this week that I've had to catch up on. And so yeah, we're getting back into life again, which is good. <clears throat> so let's get on to crochet and what I have managed to work on. So I don't have anything finished, um, just a few things that I worked on. So to start out with, um, on my last video, I talked about this. Um, this is my cardigan that I was working on and this is Lion Brand True Boo yarn in the color Celery. I'm sorry, Sophie is all over the place. She's shaking, she's walking around, she's rubbing her face all over everything. She's making a lot of noise, I'm really sorry. Anyways, I, I was looking for a yarn band. I can't find a yarn band for this. But this is Lion Brand uh, True Boo. Um, and this pattern calls for a three weight yarn, which this is a three weight, um, but it just hangs differently than most three weights do. So the stitch count and the row count's not working. So I keep working on it and then I frog back and then I work on it and I frog back and I got frustrated. So it's probably spent, this is probably spent the last week and a half sitting on my dining room table in time out. But now that I picked it up today to show it to you guys, I'm just remembering how lovely it feels and how I like how it looks and everything and I need to get back on it. So this is my cardigan. I will link the pattern below. It is free on her blog. I did purchase the PDF so that I could print it out. Um, but yeah, and it is a nice pattern to work. It's well written. It's just, I think it's the yarn and the person. I don't think it's the pattern that's the problem. But that is my cardigan so far that it's been sitting in timeout. So because I took it in timeout and I really wanted to work on a cardigan, I got out something else that I purchased a while ago. So uh, quite a while ago, I purchased this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And yes, I'm in Canada and I have an earlier video which explains how I got my Hobby Lobby order in Canada and I will try to remember to link that below in case you are interested and you didn't see it. Um, so this is the yarn that I purchased, the three colors. And these are the same three colors as she used for her cardigan. And on video, these two are showing less alike than they actually look in person. Um, in the pictures, they don't look that similar either, but when I worked it up, it does look quite similar. So these are a Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK. So this pink color is Pink Lemonade. This one in the middle is called Mist, and this one on the bottom is called Cloud Control. And these are 100% low pill acrylic, and it's supposed to be three weight. It's pretty light three weight, but that's the yarn that I'm using. And this pattern is the Eva Cardigan pattern. And this is free on her blog, and I'll try to show you a picture. I'll try to actually insert one, a picture of what this is supposed to look like. So, cause I did purchase the colors and the yarn that, well, the yarn that she recommended in the same colors as she worked hers, cause I really liked the way that hers looked worked up. So, um, yeah. So, and I did purchase the PDF cause I wanted to print it out. So um, here it is so far. Oops, and I have lost my stitch marker out of here, so I'm accidentally pulling back. So let me hang on to this. Okay, here we go. So this is it worked up so far. So as you can see, I'm on my second color change. I've got about another, I don't know, eight or 10 rows and then another color change. So looking forward to the next color change and seeing how it looks worked up then. But this is the pattern so far. It's the back panel. And I'm enjoying working on it. Um, it's a nice, well-written pattern. She's got a YouTube video. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying working on this. So that is my Eva cardigan so far. And the other thing that I've been working on that I've been showing you guys for a while is I had finished this first sock. Um, and the pattern was a free pattern. I will link it below. I don't have it here. Um, I'll link the pattern below. It was free on Ravelry, but I finished the first sock and I had started the second one. 
Last time when I showed you guys, I think I was just finishing the uh, ribbing at the top. So I've managed to get a bunch more done. Not quite to the heel yet. I don't know, another 15 or 20 row rounds and then I'll be working on the heel section. But see, I tried to start them with the same color and I think I did pretty good. But I think they're gonna put it pretty much alike. And yeah, so that is my socks, my knit socks. So that's what I've been working on for the last couple weeks. Um, sorry, I don't have more to show you. Um, you know, it's summer, we've been doing more life and being sick and doing less crochet. So, um, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, so thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I hope you like you saw. If you did like what you see today, please like my video. If you'd like to subscribe and see my next videos, that would be great too. Hit the notification bell for notifications. And yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me today again. And um, I will see you next time on Laurie Hooks. Bye everyone.